Mississippi Valley State lands the number one JUCO quarterback in the country. Mississippi Valley State lands the number one JUCO quarterback in the country. We're going to talk about it right after the bumper. Uh, it's good good people jeff lightsy jr here with the black boss channel with victory formation thank you guys for tuning in be sure to hit the thumbs up button like share subscribe and the notification bell because we upload every single day now mississippi valley state coach vincent dancy does it again they land the number one juco quarterback in the country his name is jamari jones his name is jamari jones he committed to mississippi valley state via facebook i'm going to show you his facebook post and i'm going to talk about how big this is for the delta devils down at mississippi valley state now as you all may or may not know, Mississippi Valley State was one of the most active teams during the early signing period. I mean, a lot of this got swept under the rug because of the hype for the Celebration Bowl between South Carolina State and Jackson State. But Mississippi Valley State during early and the signing of Travis Hunter to Jackson State. So the Mississippi Valley State news got, got kind of overshadowed. But let's not, let's not sleep on what Coach Dante is doing down there with the Delta Devils. They received 16 commitments, 16 signees they had during the early signing period, including transfers from high-level Power 5 conferences, including Mississippi State and other JUCOs across the country. But this one. This might be the biggest get for them because, as you all know, college football programs are based around essentially three things, coaching, recruiting, and quarterbacks. <laughs> you got to have the right coaches that are able to develop the talent. You got to have the right coaches and staff to go out and get the talent, but you have to have the quarterback position secured. If you don't have the right quarterback, none of that other stuff even matters because you can be as good as you want to be, but if your quarterback is subpar or lackluster, that will hurt you in the long run. That will hurt you worse than almost anything else, and that is something that's been hurting Mississippi Valley. Mississippi Valley State... Coach Dancy's a really good coach. He he knows how to motivate his teams. His teams play really, really hard for him. But they haven't done well at the quarterback position over the last few years. I want to talk to you. This is coming from HBCUsports.com. It says, the commitment addresses a need uh, at the position, the Delta Devils had struggled to find consistency in recent years. Mississippi Valley State finished 11th in the SWAC in passing, tallying only 1,800 yards and 11 touchdowns, only 167 yards per game passing between three quarterbacks, Jelani Eason, Connor Regan, and Quincy Ivory. So this guy is huge for them. Jamari Jones is his name, by the way. I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff and, and what's going on with Jamari Jones. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, by the way. So this is Jamari Jones's 247 profile. So let me go to quarterback. He's ranked, like I said, the number one quarterback in Juco ranks. He's a three-star prospect. He coming from East Mississippi Community College, you know, the last chance U school. They only have a UT Martin, but he had a ton of interest from a bunch of HBCU. 6'3", 205. He's going to be really, really good for the Delta Devils. This is huge for them because, like I said, a lot of a lot of hype in the SWAC is around Jackson State for, you know, obvious reasons and Grambling, going out there and getting Hugh Jackson. But don't sleep on Coach Dancy. Uh, let me go. Let me show you guys. First of all, I want to show you all some of some of the plays made. Well, let me read to you some of the stats. Jamar Jones tallied 2,700 yards passing at, at the JUCO ranks this past season with 33 touchdowns. 33 touchdowns, over 2,700 yards passing. Had interest from Alcorn, Bethune, Cookman, Jackson State, Ole Miss, and Baylor, among others. So there was a ton of interest for this guy, and he lands with Mississippi Valley State. He lands with Coach Dancy. He lands with Coach Willie Toten, who, you know, Willie, Willie was the one throwing all those touchdowns and all those passes to Jerry Rice back in the 80s. So that is going to be good for his development. Let me show 
show you all let me show you all some of mississippi valley state and why if you are a valley fan you should be excited for next season because valley has got some dogs coming into the school so here is let me go ahead and share my screen. Here is what they posted in regards to National Signing Day. And this is going to be big because here's the thing. Uh, you know, they always say a rising tide lifts all boats. Well, that's true in some cases. But in this case, the, the attention and the spotlight that Coach Prime has done at Jackson State is going to help everyone in the swag. And I've been preaching this from the jump. And that includes Valley. Th that includes a blue blood like Mississippi Valley State, who has multiple Hall of Famers, including Deacon Jones and Jerry Rice, among others, multiple NFL Hall of Famers. And this is something that if we can get this program restored, this will be huge for HBCU football. You got Jackson State restored. We want to say Hugh Jackson is going to do his thing at Grambling, which is probably the most prestigious program in all of HBCU football. And Valley is one with another long, great, beautiful history with NFL Hall of Famers throughout. You got the offensive linemen. Uh, this, these are some of the guys, the big time players, Jones College, a lot of Juco transfers going to Valley for next season. That's going to be big. Why is that big? Because Juco transfers are guys who have already played college football. Juco transfers are typically you know, normally guys who can just pick stuff up on the fly, who, who don't have need to develop be like high school players because they've already have experience at the college ranks. You got one of Jamari Jones's college teammates in Mississippi Valley Community College coming in. He's a wide receiver, so that helps. So another receiver, uh, a hybrid linebacker, more a bunch of junior college guys that will be able to hit the ground running a transfer from Southern Miss at defensive back a defensive back this is this is big guys this is going to be huge for Valley to immediately be able to compete for a SWAC title next season I'm not going to go and say that they're going to be better than JSU JSU's got a bunch of guys coming back that are really really talented I'm not even going to say they're going to be better than Alcorn who has historically just been better than most teams in the SWAC but Valley going out and getting these guys, Coach Dancy is hitting the trail hard. 16 signees and now the number one, the number one JUCO quarterback in the country is coming to Mississippi Valley. That's going to be big. The number one JUCO quarterback in the country in 2021. So this is the class of 22. In 2021, Jaron Williams, who played a year, at, uh, at, he played in Miami, he started at Miami. He played some time at South Florida. Now he's headed to Alabama A&M looking to be the heir apparent to Aquil Glass. So that's also something to watch out for. And that's going to be big. I cannot wait to see what the SWAC looks like next year. Every, but the talk of the town is going to be JSU and Grambling. But Alabama A&M is going to come back for vengeance. Alcorn State is going to come back for vengeance. FAMU, and I'm going to do a video on FAMU. FAMU's been talking the most ish. They feel like they're the HBCU national champions. You know they're going to come back with vengeance, and they're getting a ton of transfers. And now you get a team like Valley, a sleeping giant, I believe, a team like Valley to come in and be competitive and try to steal some wins from some of these programs. It is going to be a beautiful thing. The fall of 2022 is going to be beautiful for the HBCU football landscape. Once again my name is jeff lighty jr with the black boss channel and victory formation you can follow me on subscribe to my youtube channel jeff lighty jr or facebook i mean instagram and twitter it's at j 7 it's instagram and twitter at j 7 thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you next time peace